Our forecasting change. The planet is feeling the heat. This January made the top 10 of the warmest Januaries in the greater Jacksonville area. Meteorologist Mark Collins takes a look at this alarming trend. We're all feeling the heat and the globe has been getting hotter and hotter. Just today, we've been seeing new reports coming out of NOAA that it has been 44 years without a cooler than average global monthly temperature. Now let's think about this. That is 527 months in a row with temperatures both in the ocean and land on average warmer than normal. So what does that mean for us? Well, a lot. In fact, in the Gulf of Mexico, which is like the kiddie pool of the oceans, it's shallower. It has warmed twice as much as the global oceans. And we've seen just this winter alone how warm we have been and even other places around the nation. In fact, in New York City, they've had one of the longest snowless streaks on record. They only got a little bit of snow as late as February 1st. And so a lot of the eastern seaboard has been warm and even the poles, both the Arctic and the Antarctic, dealing with low levels of ice. In fact, in the Antarctic, they're sailing research vessels in a spot that was uh, covered by ice back in uh, 125 years ago. And they're dealing with the lowest ice on record there. And uh, we are seeing that as a whole on the planet, January is its seventh warmest on record. And for us, that's kind of on par with some of our own local towns like Jack's Beach and Gainesville. I looked at some of the records over the past 75 years, and this is one of the top 10 warmest for many of these cities. Uh, Jacksonville, well, not quite getting in there, but Arlington, the third uh, coolest. You can read a lot about what I have to say on newsforjacks.com, where I write many science stories. In fact, this one is included there if you go to newsforjacks.com. I'm meteorologist Mark Collins.